What happens when you bring users on board your Bubble app and it experiences an outage? What are you going to tell those users? And should you stick around on the Bubble platform? We're going to go through all of that in today's video and make sure you stick around until the end because we're also going to talk about a deadly combo when it comes to your app experiencing an outage. Dramatic, I know. It's Kristen over at Coaching No Code Apps. We help non-technical entrepreneurs build custom apps so they can launch their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. And if that's what you're doing, then subscribe to this channel for new videos to help you every single week. The idea of your users coming onto your app and it not working can sound like a little bit of a nightmare. I mean, what if they no longer trust your app? Right now, I'm over on Bubble's status page, and this is a really helpful page to just keep in your favorites folder, and it's simply a rundown of whether or not the Bubble systems are operational. Now, this is a, a really important term to focus on all systems are operational because the reality is you're not just using bubble you're using a system of different services that power bubble so if bubble experiences an outage if you scroll down a little bit you can see all the different services that bubble actually relies on in order to run the major one here is aws amazon web services so if bubble is experiencing an outage there's a good chance it's actually because of these systems that Bubble is relying on or these outside services that help power Bubble. When Bubble experiences an outage, that's what's going to cause an outage with your own app. But if Bubble is experiencing an outage itself, then chances are AWS is actually experiencing some sort of problem and you're going to see this ripple all across the internet. And you've seen this before. You've seen major sites like YouTube and Facebook go down and it's because these systems that power these websites or these apps or platforms that also experience outages. This is a very normal thing, something you've experienced and something your users experience from time to time as well. Going back to the bubble status page, you can actually subscribe for status updates. And I would recommend that you do this because you'll know immediately if there is an outage either with Bubble itself or with a service that Bubble relies on. And this can allow you to take action quickly. We'll talk about what those actions should look like in just a minute, but it's also important to understand that Bubble itself regardless of any of the outside services it uses, Bubble itself can also go down. You're likely not going to see Bubble as a whole go down, but you're probably from time to time going to see little things like certain features not working or certain functionality seeming to sort of trip up a little bit. And this can be from Bubble, the Bubble team pushing updates on the platform or making fixes and just something kind of going wrong in the process. Now, this is something that they, along with any business that's updating itself, are going to try to limit as much as humanly possible. But of course, it's still going to happen from time to time. That's just the nature of tech, and really that's just the nature of business as a whole. There are actually lots of apps and services out there that will allow you to monitor the downtime of certain services that you might use. So an example of this is downnotifier.com. This is just a random one I found in a Google search. There are tons of them out there, but you can type in a website URL into your email address that you want the notification to be sent to or send an SMS and you can be notified immediately if a service goes down. You know, we at Coaching No Code Apps personally use different platforms and services to host some of our training content, um, and, and different programs, and we sign up for status notifications for these outside services we use. For example, if we use Vimeo to host some of our video training content and we get a status notification uh, because we sign up for them that shows that Vimeo is down, well then we can know to say, hey, whoever is using this video content right now, just know that if you experience an experience an issue, it's because Vimeo is currently experiencing an outage. And so if you sign up for these types of status notifications, you can see not only when 
Bubble itself is experiencing an issue, but when any other service is experiencing an issue as well. And this is important because your users are reliant on Bubble maintaining its operations in order to use your app that's been built on Bubble, but they're also going to be reliant on any other third-party services that you use as well. Okay, so as a quick summary, sign up for bubble status updates so you can be notified if there is an outage but remember that it's not just about bubble right it's about these other services as well so outages are going to happen it's something that you need to expect so it's not just bubble that your users are going to be reliant on and that you are reliant on it's also any other service that you use too so if you use these other services, subscribe to status updates for them as well, because you can take action quickly as soon as you see an outage. And that leads us to the next point. What do you actually tell your users when they do experience an outage? And remember, at some point, it's just going to happen. There are two rules of thumb here. Number one, you wanna normalize this. Let your users know that this is just a normal part of operations and while you do everything you possibly can to make sure they have a really smooth experience, at the end of the day, if a service that you are reliant on experiences an outage and that hundreds of other websites and apps are reliant on, there's only so much you can do other than normalize it, right? Normalize it. And then the second point is to communicate about this. So the more quickly you communicate with your users, the better. I would rather be upfront and let people know right away that, hey, something is going on and we're working on fixing it, or something is going on and this is out of our hands and Jeff Bezos is definitely working on fixing it right now. Uh, but let them know as quickly as you can, instead of waiting for someone else to notice it and kind of hoping that you fly under the radar, right? So normalize it. This is a very normal thing and it's okay and communicate quickly. Of course, if the problem is on your end, well, then you need to take action right away and let users know that you are head down making a fix. But this is where that deadly combo comes in. Your app is going to experience outages from time to time that are completely out of your control. This is when you normalize and communicate. But if you have not built your app correctly and users are on board, somewhat of a buggy and maybe dysfunctional app sometimes in the first place. Well, that buggy app combined with the outages is where that deadly combo happens. Because when there's consistency in this dysfunction with your app, you are going to start to lose users. They are going to lose trust in your platform and in you. So the key here is to set yourself and your users up for as much success and as little friction as you possibly can. This means building your app correctly. You want to build your app in a way so that it performs well. You want to build your app so that it scales as your user base scales or the amount of work that your app is doing scales. You want to make your user flows and navigation as easy and intuitive as you possibly can. The less your user has to think about what to do or when to do something, the less they have to wait and potentially kind of run that attention span um, dry, the better. So let's look at this from a big picture standpoint. Should you be scared of outages? No, not if you've prepared and not if you understand that normalization and communication are key. Should you lose trust in the bubble platform as a whole when there are outages? Also, no. Bubble relies on certain services that they are not in control of, and Bubble themselves do everything they can to do exactly what we just talked about, create the most functional product they can. Now, of course, no one's perfect. You're not going to be perfect. Bubble's not going to be perfect, but you wanna do as much as you can to provide a really good experience for your users. So at the end of the day, this really isn't all that complicated. If you build a buggy app, then your users are going to be less forgiving when these outages occur, and they will occur. But if you build 
the most well-performing app and the most seamless app you possibly can, then when these outages occur and you normalize and communicate, your users will be forgiving, life will go on, and they will probably forget about it by that afternoon. Now, of course, the key here is building that well-performing app. And if you head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop, we have a deep dive workshop where we will walk you through everything no code and bubble. Basically, we'll take you from your idea stage to validating your app and then actually starting to build things out on bubble and give you development methodology you can use on bubble so that you understand how to use bubble and understand how to use it correctly. And that's so important because there are always multiple ways to build the same exact thing, but not every way is correct. So if you head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop, you can join that for free and make sure that you're building that well-performing app so that when these outages occur, you will be prepared.